scenes like this, all too familiar in Mumbai. This is the third major terror attack on the city in five years. The seventh blast has taken place at Mira Road. So in 2006, an attack on the local train network left at least 174 people dead. A three-day siege in 2008 claimed 164 lives. And on Wednesday, three bombs exploded within 15 minutes of each other during the evening rush hour. It should not happen, it should not happen. Vinay Dada was in his office when he heard a loud bang. The explosion went off next door. Many of his colleagues who work in the Diamond District were injured. In particular in this topic, the security topic, government failed. Many share the same view, the same frustration with the government that promised better security after the 2008 strikes, now referred to as 2611 in India because of the date when the attack occurred. No one is safe. For beautician Anamika Gupta, memories of those attacks are still raw. Terrorists pumped several bullets into her stomach at Cafe Leopold. When she heard of Wednesday's attacks, she was numb with shock. Our government and police are so incompetent, she says. Terrorists can walk into our country and get away with anything. Since 2611, India insists it has intensified intelligence gathering, which it says has led to a decline in acts of terror. There was no intelligence regarding an imminent attack in Mumbai. That is not a failure of intelligence agencies, but simply that in the nature of things, whoever perpetrated this attack has worked in a very, very clandestine manner. Residents of Mumbai see it differently. Before this happens, they should be in a position to catch them. Sanjay Lagu is a yoga teacher. He says he does not think Mumbai is secure. Displaying the resilience they've come to be known for, many Mumbaikers are back at work. I'm in Opera House, the neighborhood where one of the bombs went off. And as you can see, the shutters are up. The daily routine continues. The morning after the strike, schools, colleges, shops and offices were open across the city. What to do? It's resilience, but it's also a necessity, says Lagu. He has to work to support his family, so he moves on. Neither a lashing of monsoon rain or a terror attack in his neighborhood will slow him down. Malika Kapoor, CNN, Mumbai.